Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Rory from Hyper Production and I'm here today with Sonic Academy to bring you a tutorial talking about insert effects versus send effects. So what are they? So insert effects are typically dynamic processing or EQs or DSs or something of that nature that is inserted in the signal path. This is to then enhance the sound and fix any dynamic errors or any pitching issues or anything of that nature that is made to enhance the sound because you don't want to hear the original. So that it goes through that process to then obviously make the output seem workable and it's something that you can then do stuff with. Send effects are the send effects is the technique of when you send out that particular signal on a bus or an auxiliary, and that's where you apply your effects such as reverb, choruses, delays, phasing, and things like that. The reason you do this is because you want the effects to be an additional feature to the original sound, whereas signal processing effects like compressors are there to enhance it. Okay, so they're there to actually fix any issues with the sound. So if we take a little look down at the inspector window on the left hand side here, we can see audio effects, we can add an array of different effects and different plugins. Yes, you can add reverbs and choruses and delays, but it's not necessarily recommended if you're wanting to have full control over that effect. So like I mentioned, compressors, DSs, EQs, things of that nature are there to fix any problems within that signal. So we can add a compressor here. So let's just stick one up under dynamics and then compressor stereo. And then for the sake of this tutorial, let's just put a preset on there. Acoustic guitar, because we want to fix a couple of issues within this window here. So there's number one. We fixed some dynamic range issues within that particular sequence. And then on EQ, again, we're just going to whack on a preset. So let's do acoustic guitar bright. We want to make it brighter. Didn't sound anything like we wanted to with the original source. Okay, so you fix the dynamics and you fix the frequency response from that particular element, so the guitar. Then you go to add a reverb on the same channel. And then what you typically will find with reverbs is that you can't always get them to sit right if they're on the right if they're on the same channel. So let's just bring up a large or medium space. Let's go on to a nice room. In fact, let's go on something a little bit longer. Uh, let's go down to medium tail. And let's have a listen. So you can already begin to hear that the reverb plugin on the same channel is then starting to swallow up the sound. Even if we put dialed that back, it still wouldn't sound that wouldn't sound correct, and the original source will then start to really suffer as, as a result, and you won't be able to hear it as clearly. So I will dial this all the way down, and then I'll introduce it slowly. So it's not really complementing the sound very nicely, and that is the point of effects, is to then complement a sound. It's not to fix any errors or mask anything necessarily, it's to complement the sound, and it's meant to make it sound more interesting. And I don't, 99% of the time you're just not going to find that from putting effects onto the same channel. So then what we're going to do, we're going to send it out on a bus. So let's send it to bus 1, and then we're going to label this Reverb. So then we're going to take that and then just drag it over. But you obviously you just click on that and then reverb and then down to Space Designer. But you can use any plugin, obviously, whatever you like. Keep it stereo. And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to drag this all the way to 100. And then we're going to put the dry all the way back. And then our control for the effect then comes from this fader here. So then we can have as little or as much of the effect as we want. So... I'm going to dial it down and then I'll bring it up slowly and you'll hear that the original source of this guitar track here is not going to be lost when we introduce the reverb. So here we go. Might actually help if we send some signal to it. So option, send it up to Unity Gain. Rookie error. Here we go. So 
So you can just hear the original source so much clearer and so much better and then the reverb is then really nicely complementing that sound. And the beautiful thing about sending things on auxiliaries and buses and stuff is that you, then you can EQ them. So obviously it's got its own dedicated EQ, so then we can do whatever we want with the EQ then. So the whole point of sending stuff out on auxiliaries is purely for control. You will have full control on everything that you do uh, and that is the main point of mixing and arranging tracks and editing and stuff like that. You want to have as much control over every element as you possibly can or else things are just going to get lost. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can have happy accidents and stuff like that but ultimately you want to have full control of what you're hearing. So that is the difference between insert effects and send effects. So I've been Rory from Hyper Production. You've been watching Sonic Academy. Thank you for watching. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.